calculate the mass of ammonia in one decimeter cube of chemplin. So the equation statement is saying that a concentrated household product chemclean contains ammonia as the main cleaning agent. To determine the amount of ammonia present in one decimeter cube of chemclean, the following procedure is followed. 20 centimeter cube of chemclean is added to a 250 centimeter cube flask, then filled to the 250 centimeter cube mark with water. Right, as we can see, they demonstrated. And then the diluted solution is treated against the hydrochloric acid solution of the concentration as calculated in 7.2.1. So now we actually have to go to 7.2.1 and calculate that uh, concentration. And then during the titration, uh, 22 centimeter cube of the diluted chemclean solution is neutralized by 18.7 centimeter cube of the HCl solution. So before we unpack this question, let's just go to 7.2.1 and calculate the concentration of the hydrochloric acid uh, that was used. Right, so if we do that, you're gonna find that in 7.2.1, we are told that a hydrochloric acid solution, HCl, is standardized by titrating it against uh, 25 centimeter cube of a 0 0.04 moles per decimeter cube sodium carbonate solution. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, jot that down, right? Because uh, the formula that we're going to use should be guided by the variables we have. So our volume is 25 centimeter cube. And then our concentration is 0 0.04 moles per decimeter cube. Right. Uh, at the end point, at the end point, it is found that 19.5 centimeter cube of HCl has reacted. So for the acid, we have a volume which is equals to 19.5 centimeter cube. And then 7.2.1. Let's calculate the concentration of the HCl. So we're looking for the concentration. Right. And then if it is a standardization, then we can say that. Number of moles of acid divided by number of moles of base is equal to the concentration of the acid multiplied by the volume of the acid divided by the concentration of the base multiplied by the volume of the base. So what you put here in place of the number of moles is the balancing ratio, right? Because the actual values of the number of moles doesn't matter. Because if you use the balancing ratio, even if you substitute the number of moles, you're still gonna get the balancing ratios, right? So what is the balancing ratio of the acid? We have Q, uh, we can see it right here. And then that of the base, we have one, it's equal to concentration of acid, that's what we're interested in. Uh, the volume is 19.5, right? Divided by concentration of the base, 0 0.04, multiply by the volume which is 25 right now you might be asking yourself why are we using centimeter cube and not decimeter cube because we are taking a ratio of the volumes we can actually leave it like that we don't have to convert it to decimeter cube right only if we're using the ratio of the volumes right if we cross multiply we're going to get 19.5 multiplied by concentration of the acid when it goes to 2 multiplied by 0 0.04 multiplied by 25. And then if we divide both sides by 19.5, the concentration of our acid is going to be 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cube. That is 7.2.1. Now let's go back to 7.2.3. Right, so in 7.2.3, like we have deduced, we need to calculate the mass of ammonia in one decimeter cube of chemclean. So let's go ahead and jot down the information we have so that uh, we can use that information to see the formula we're supposed to use. So during the titration, uh, 22 centimeter cube of the diluted chemclean. So for the diluted base, uh, now we are in 7.2.3. So for the diluted base, uh, the base diluted, right? 
um, which volume is used a volume of 22 centimeter cube is used and then what is it neutralized by uh, now we come to our acid it is neutralized by a volume of 18.7 centimeter cube of HCl of which the concentration is the same as the one we calculated in 7.2.1 so that is 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cube right so we can start by finding the concentration of uh, the diluted base that's what we can start by doing right so if we go ahead and do that we can see that the number of moles of acid divided by, divided by the number of moles of base it's equals to concentration of acid volume of acid divided by concentration of base divided multiplied by the volume of the base right so again the balancing coefficients here we have a one is to one right so if we substitute that we're going to get one divided by one being equals to concentration of acid 0 0.1 volume of acid 18.7 divided by concentration of the base concentration of the diluted base that's what we want uh, multiply by uh, the volume of the base which is 22 so if we cross multiply here we're going to get 22 uh, concentration of the base being equals to 0 0.1 multiply by 18.7 right so now as you can uh, clearly see that it is just a matter of dividing both sides by the coefficient of uh, our base right so the concentration of the base will be equal to 0 0.085 moles per decimeter cube right there we have it we have the concentration of our uh, diluted base right but then we want the mass of ammonia in one decimeter cube of the concentrated chem plane right this is where this formula comes in concentration of the concentrated solution multiplied by the volume of the concentrated solution should be equal to the concentration of the dilute solution multiplied by the volume of the dilute solution so we see that the number of moles in our concentrated uh, solution is the same as the number of moles in our dilute solution right so let's go ahead and find uh, the concentration in our concentrated solution so that we can ultimately find the number of moles and end up uh, calculating uh, the mass of ammonia in one decimeter cube of chemplin. So the concentration of the concentrated is what we interested in. And then the volume of the concentrated uh, is 20 centimeter cube right so we're gonna have 20 right there uh, being equals to the concentration of the dilute which is 0 0.085 multiplied by the volume of uh, the dilute which is 250 so it should be quite obvious what we're supposed to do now we're gonna divide both sides by 20 uh, and if we do that the concentration of the concentrated will be equals to 1.0625 moles per decimeter cube right so this is the concentration of the 20 centimeter cube but is the concentration of the one decimeter cube also because uh we're just using 20 centimeter cube of the one decimeter cube right we're not changing anything with respect to how concentrated or dilute it is right so now we can go ahead and say that uh, the number of moles in one decimeter cube will be equals to concentration multiplied by volume the concentration is 1.0625 and the volume is one decimeter cube so the number of moles will be equals to 1.0625 moles right but then we're looking for the mass and we know that the number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass so the mass will be equal to the number of moles divided by the molar mass the number of moles that is 1.0625 and then the molar mass 
so is the molar mass of what uh n h3 that is 17 and if you multiply that you're gonna get 18.06 grams of uh, ammonia in one decimeter cube of chem clean